50 historic facts that your teachers won't tell you. 1. During the 16th century, wealthy Europeans would employ professional mourners to attend their funerals and express loud cries to enhance the sense of grief and importance. The practice of hiring mourners gradually declined over time as funeral customs and social norms evolved. 2. A group of undercover cops in Detroit, posing as drug dealers, accidentally encountered another group of undercover cops acting as drug buyers. Thinking them to be buyers, they tried to arrest them, and it led to a huge fight. This incident is equivalent to robbing a bank and then going to the front desk for opening a bank account with the same money. 3. In 1847, Robert Liston, known for his exceptional speed as a surgeon, performed a leg amputation in a mere 25 seconds. Unfortunately, due to the rapid procedure, he accidentally amputated his assistant's fingers as well. Tragically, both the patient and the assistant later succumbed to infections, and a spectator reportedly died of shock, resulting in an extraordinary and unfortunate 300% mortality rate associated with this surgical event. 4. The oldest condoms ever discovered date back to the 1640s and were made from animal intestines, particularly from sheep or goat intestines, and were used as a means of contraception and protection against sexually transmitted infections. They were often referred to as sheaths and were generally designed to be reusable, with users washing and reapplying them for multiple occasions. It wasn't until the 20th century that latex condoms, as we know them today, became widely available. 5. The Mayans had an unusual way of consuming alcohol, known as bulch, where they used alcohol enemas to get drunk by squirting a fermented drink made from tree bark into their rear ends using a tube. However, this method is not recommended for obvious reasons. They believed that the booze butt chug would help them achieve a higher spiritual state and connect with the gods. 6. In ancient Rome, urine was used as a cleaning agent as it believed to consist disinfectant properties. Urine was collected in public urinals and employed for cleaning clothes and teeth. The collected urine from public urinals was known as strigils. Strigils were vessels placed in public spaces, such as public baths and latrines, to collect urine. The urine was then used for different cleaning and medicinal purposes. 7. The iconic Statue of Liberty in New York was originally intended to be placed in Egypt's Suez Canal, but due to financial difficulties, the plan never materialized. In his early designs, Bartholdi called the sculpture Egypt Carrying the Light to Asia. However, Egyptian officials rejected the statue as it was too expensive, leading the architect to take his plans to America. The architect had to drop statue's Islamic robe and transform her into a Roman goddess, renaming her Liberty Enlightening the World. 8. In ancient Greece, there was a belief that adorning a wreath made of laurel leaves could enhance one's intelligence and creativity. The laurel tree was believed to be sacred to Apollo, the god of music, poetry, prophecy, and knowledge. Apparently Apollo's love, Daphne was transformed into a laurel tree because she preferred transforming into a tree rather than dating Apollo. 9. In ancient times, Thebes assembled an elite military force comprising 150 pairs of gay male lovers who remained undefeated in war for several years. The idea behind this formation was that the soldiers' close emotional bond and camaraderie would lead them to fight more fiercely to protect and impress their beloved partners. 10. Between 1913 and 1915, an unusual practice allowed people to send babies through the U.S. Postal Service. This practice, known as baby mail, involved mailing infants or young children, typically weighing less than 11 pounds. The U.S. Postal Service did not officially endorse or promote this practice, but it was not explicitly forbidden either. As a result, a few instances occurred where parents, especially those living in remote regions, would package their young children in baskets or boxes and send them through the mail with postage stamps and addresses written on the packages. 11. In the 1800s, a peculiar diet craze called the tapeworm diet became popular where people swallowed tapeworms with the aim of losing weight. The idea was that the tapeworms would consume the food in their intestines. However, this practice is highly unsafe and not recommended for weight loss or any other purpose. 12. Shockingly, some swimming pools once had bellows-type devices designed to blow smoke up the rectum of drowning individuals based on the mistaken belief that it could resuscitate them. This practice has long been abandoned 
and is not used in modern life-saving techniques. 13. The term hooker originated during the American Civil War. General Joseph Hooker was known to have prostitutes accompanying his campaigns, leading his men to adopt the term hooker to refer to prostitutes. 14. Stephen Hawking, the celebrated physicist, had a taste for strip clubs. There are accounts of him lying fully clothed on a bed while two naked women danced around him, showing that he had unique ways of enjoying life outside his scientific pursuits. 15. In medieval times, flirting involved using a fan or a handkerchief to communicate with potential romantic interests. For instance, a woman might use her fan to cover her face partially, which could be seen as a sign of nervousness or intrigue. Fluttering the fan quickly could indicate excitement or that she was impatient to see someone. Slowly fanning oneself might suggest boredom or disinterest. Additionally, dropping a handkerchief in front of a potential suitor could be an intentional act, inviting him to pick it up and return it as a way of initiating a conversation or showing interest. 16. During the early 20th century, a peculiar trend emerged where people wore live canaries as fashion accessories. Small cages were designed to be attached to women's clothing to carry these birds. This trend was often associated with the desire for novelty and a touch of nature in fashion. However, as fashion trends evolved and awareness of animal welfare grew, the practice of using live birds as accessories fell out of favor. 17. During the American Civil War, Union and Confederate soldiers sometimes engaged in siege warfare against opposing troops by exchanging insults and banter instead of actual combat. During a siege, there could be negotiations and attempts at psychological warfare, which might involve verbal interactions or taunts. But these were just one aspect of the larger military strategy. 18. During the Napoleonic Wars of the early 19th century, the people of Hartlepool, England, hanged a shipwrecked monkey, mistaking it for a French spy. The locals were unfamiliar with what a French person looked like and had never seen a monkey before. Upon finding the monkey, they reportedly mistook it for a French spy due to its strange appearance and the uniform it was wearing. Believing it to be an enemy spy, they held a mock trial on the beach and sentenced the monkey to death by hanging. 19. In the 17th century, the Swedish army employed war pigs coated in tar and set on fire to confront enemy war elephants in battle. The idea was that the pigs, being naturally afraid of fire and noise, would run in random directions, squealing loudly and carrying the flames with them. However, the effectiveness of this tactic has been questioned in the recent times. 20. Charles Darwin suffered from a chronic illness that, throughout much of his adult life, impaired his functioning and severely limited his activities. The writings of this famous scientist, as well as biographical materials, indicate that he probably suffered from an anxiety disorder. His symptoms, when considered individually, suggest a variety of conditions, but taken together they point toward panic disorder with agoraphobia. 21. Until 1951, the United States and Japan were technically at war despite the conclusion of World War II in 1945. The war between the United States and Japan officially ended with Japan's surrender on September 2, 1945, aboard the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. However, the end of hostilities was not followed by a comprehensive peace treaty between the two countries. Instead, the post-war relationship between the United States and Japan was governed by a series of agreements, declarations, and treaties. One of the most significant agreements was the Treaty of San Francisco, signed on September 8, 1951, in San Francisco, California. This treaty officially ended the state of war between the United States and Japan, and also addressed other issues related to the post-war period. 22. Contrary to popular belief, ancient Greek and Roman statues were not simply bare marble or stone. They were, in fact, brilliantly colored. They used a wide range of pigments made from natural materials, such as minerals, plants, and animal products, to paint their sculptures. Over time, due to exposure to the elements, the painted surfaces of many ancient statues have deteriorated or faded away, leaving them with the appearance of bare marble or stone. 23. Christopher Columbus was not the first European to reach the Americas. About 500 years before Columbus's arrival, 
The Vikings, specifically the Norse explorer Leif Erikson, is believed to have established a settlement in Newfoundland, Canada, in the year 1492. The Vikings eventually abandoned their presence in North America, and the knowledge of their discovery remained relatively obscure until later explorations and scholarly research brought the historical accounts to light. 24. Powdered wigs were originally invented to conceal head sores caused by syphilis. At the time, hair loss was a one-way ticket to public embarrassment. Long hair was a trendy status symbol, and a bald dome could stain any reputation. And so the syphilis outbreak sparked a surge in wig making. Victims hid their baldness, as well as the bloody sores that scoured their faces, with wigs made of horse, goat, or even human hair. 25. Hawaiian kings had harems consisting of both male and female lovers. The first European to create a Hawaiian to English dictionary avoided scandalizing his Victorian readers and translated the term for male lovers as intimate friend. This led to some confusion when missionaries arrived, requesting to become the intimate friends of the Hawaiian nobility. 26. Peter the Great, who ruled Russia from 1682 to 1725, was known for his quirks and fondness for extravagant spectacles. He even organized a mock wedding between his court jester and dwarf, whose name was Fedor Jep, and a tall woman named Maria, who reportedly stood over seven feet tall. The wedding ceremony was purely for amusement and entertainment purposes. 27. The place where Julius Caesar was assassinated has transformed into a sanctuary for cats. The location is Largo di Torre Argentina, an archaeological site in Rome. The local authorities and cat welfare organizations have come together to care for the cats, providing them with food, water, and medical attention. 28. During the 18th century, pineapples symbolized wealth and power to such an extent that people would rent them for a single night to showcase their status among fellow partygoers. Pineapples were highly prized for their appearance and taste, but they were also challenging to grow and transport over long distances. 29. In ancient Greece, wearing skirts was considered a symbol of masculinity, while trousers were viewed as effeminate attire. Men who chose to wear trousers were subject to mockery and ridicule. 30. Leonardo da Vinci, the world-famous artist, was known for his vegetarian lifestyle and advocacy for animal rights. It is said that he would purchase caged birds just to set them free. 31. In the 19th century, European aristocracy developed a peculiar sneeze fetish trend, competing with ornate snuff boxes to produce the loudest and most impressive sneezes. 32. Michelangelo, the Italian artist, had some unhygienic habits. He was known to go to bed in his clothes and boots, and there were instances when he wore his boots for extended periods, causing his skin to come off with them. 33. Queen Elizabeth I of England had horrible rotten teeth because of her love for sweets. Queen Elizabeth I reigned from 1558 to 1603 and was known for her love of luxurious and extravagant foods. She had a particular fondness for sugary confections, which were considered delicacies during her time. 34. In ancient Rome, there was a peculiar practice known as snail licking wherein individuals would collect snails from gardens and let them crawl on their faces for skin care purposes. It was believed to be beneficial for the skin due to the snail's natural secretion, which was thought to have moisturizing and exfoliating properties. 35. The United States dropped leaflets over Japan, warning them of impending atomic bomb attacks, but they were dismissed as mere propaganda. The leaflets were part of a psychological warfare campaign aimed at warning the Japanese population of the potential devastation that could result from continuing the war. 36. During the 16th century, European nobles kept pet monkeys, dressing them in elaborate human clothing, showing a peculiar fascination with fashion and primates. Monkeys were seen as exotic and intriguing creatures from distant lands, and they were often acquired as status symbols and curiosities by the wealthy and aristocratic class. 37. According to reports, Isaac Newton once stuck a needle in his eye out of curiosity to see what would happen. As a result of this self-experiment, Newton reported seeing colors and patterns. However, he also experienced considerable discomfort and risked injuring his eye in the process. Thankfully, he did not suffer any serious harm, but the incident remains a remarkable example of his dangerous pursuit of knowledge. 38. 
In the Victorian era, men considered it fashionable to grow such large beards that they required special beard protectors to keep them clean while eating. These beard protectors, often made of fine mesh or fabric, were known as beard guards or beard nets, and they were essential accessories for the fashionable Victorian gentlemen to maintain the cleanliness and hygiene of their impressive facial hair during mealtimes. 39. The Soviet Union employed a dog trained to carry a bomb under German tanks. However, the dog ended up returning to its handlers, unintentionally causing their demise. 40. During the World War II, the United States and Canada utilized code talkers from Native American tribes to transmit secret messages. The Native American code talkers used their native languages, such as Navajo, Choctaw, Comanche, and others, to create coded messages that were virtually indecipherable to enemy forces, keeping their communication secure from enemy interception. 41. Max Tremel, a priest on a winter walk in 1894, witnessed a young boy slipping through some broken ice at the river's edge. He bravely intervened and saved the boy from certain drowning. Remarkably, that boy turned out to be Adolf Hitler. Despite the heroic act by Max Tremel, who would later become a vocal opponent of Hitler's ideologies, he could not have foreseen the path that the young boy he saved would eventually take, leading to one of the most significant and devastating chapters in history. 42. During the Battle of Agincourt, English archers fought without pants due to severe diarrhea, which led to a challenging situation as they fought. Each shot fired risked causing further issues. The lack of pants among the English archers was a result of the debilitating effects of dysentery, which had plagued the English army during their campaign in France, making their victory against the French forces even more remarkable, despite the difficult circumstances they faced. 43. An unusual event took place in Ohio in 1986 when over one million balloons were released into the air as part of a promotional event, causing chaos and leaving an impact on environmental history. The mass balloon release, known as the Balloon Fest 86, resulted in a spectacular sight but had unintended consequences as the balloons drifted back down to earth, littering the land and waterways and leading to environmental concerns and legal repercussions over the dangers posed to wildlife and the ecosystem. Some things can only happen in Ohio. 44. During the 14th to 17th centuries, Europe witnessed outbreaks of dancing mania, also known as chore mania, where groups of people danced uncontrollably in a trance-like state, often until they reached exhaustion or even death, with the phenomenon most notably documented during the Dancing Plague of 1518 in Strasbourg, France. The exact causes of these mass dancing outbreaks remain a subject of speculation among historians and medical experts, with theories ranging from psychological and religious influences to potential physiological and environmental factors. 45. In ancient Rome, laughing schools were part of their culture, where people could attend classes to learn the art of laughter. Laughter was considered beneficial for emotional well-being, and some Roman philosophers, like Seneca, discussed the positive effects of humor on the human spirit. 46. During World War II, a German officer attempted to surrender to the Americans using a flag made from a bedsheet, but mistakenly used a red sheet, resulting in him being shot. 47. There were rumors that William Shakespeare, the renowned playwright, may have smoked marijuana, based on the discovery of clay pipes containing cannabis residue found in his garden. 48. King Henry VIII of England had a giant codpiece to accentuate his manhood. Codpieces were a component of men's clothing in the 16th century. The primary function of codpieces was to provide additional space and support for men's genitalia, but they also evolved into a fashion statement, sometimes becoming elaborate and flashy. 49. As a young adult, Abraham Lincoln was known to possess impressive wrestling skills. During one of his wrestling matches, Lincoln defeated his opponent and, turning to the crowd, boldly claimed, I'm the big buck of this lick. If any of you want to try it, come on and wet your horns. In the context of the 19th century, this expression was equal to saying, Come at me, bro. 50. Queen Elizabeth I of England had a strong aversion to bathing and only bathed once a month. Even then, she was known for her carefulness in dressing elegantly 
and taking pride in her appearance, despite not bathing frequently. And there you have it, 50 historic facts that your professor won't tell you. If you enjoyed these facts, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.